Let's keep moving, though. All the money in the world. There we go. Fantastic. Probably a little bit more from this guy as well. Just as good. Oh, yep. Here we go. We're getting attacked. Blood Moon time. This is looking good. Oh, dear. Well, then. This. <laughs> Oh dear, okay then. Well, all of our farmers are probably going to die. We might be able to slow them down. There's definitely a possibility. Okay. All of our farmers have died now, unfortunately. The left side of the map has been destroyed. I think we're getting close to the end, to be honest with you. We're getting very unlucky with the times our engineers are trying to repair things. Oh, do you want to come back? Well, all of our farmers have died. Oh, these flies are coming up now, so they're probably going to finish us off. Hmm. We're having a lot of trouble actually getting new people. We need more knights. We should do that. I mean, I'm thinking maybe I should just get a bunch of bows. I mean, a bunch of hammers. Oh, here they are. It's a shame they have so much health. We can't do much against them. Uh, they're, they're both dead now. Hmm. There's no way we can get everyone back very quickly here. Oh, are they both gone? Yep, they are. Okay. I assume we can run past these guys. Oh, God. Please die. I don't want to deal with you guys. You're wasting my time. Come on. God, I'm getting slightly, slightly a sickness, actually, from this. All right, there we go. They're both dead. All right, let's see if we can rehire any folks. There we are. We are going to need more farmers. I don't think our trade actually gave us any hoes, which is a little bit annoying. Just hiring everyone up, to be honest. I should keep the money so that we can buy some more farmers. But really... I think upgrading these front walls is a good idea. Just the front two. We won't bother about the rest. Um, now we've just got a little bit of a money problem when it comes to getting new people. No farmers at all now. None on the right, none on the left. I think so anyway. Maybe the trader gave us hoes without me realizing it. But we don't really have too many tools now. I think we have the both knights. Yep, he's going to give us hammers. Fuck. Okay, we're getting a little bit unlucky now. I mean, I don't really want too many hammers at the moment. But now we're going to get like four builders. I guess it's alright. But I want more archers and more hoes. Because now we're going to have a lot of trouble getting money back. Hmm. We've just been fucked. <laughs> the game's a lot about luck at the same time, I feel. you just got to get lucky and see if your guys are actually going to do anything worthwhile. If they go and repair things at the right moments, that kind of thing. Days are way too quick in this, so you've got to really work around it. We should be good for one night, though. But now we're not really going to get much money. We've just sort of got a bit screwed over from our trader as well. Because he's just given us a bunch of hammers. Which means half the people that were previously defending our base are now just going to be engineers. Extremely poor timing. At least we're repairing these walls. We don't have much money on us. And I need to stop moving for a second. Um. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, to be honest with you. We're kind of fucked. <laughs> All right. We need to get enough money to at least get one farmer. And then we should hopefully be able to get some from then on in. We're okay tonight, supposedly. I'm not sure if that's actually the case, though. But we did get attacked rather significant. There was a significant number of enemies to deal with. But we just have a little bit of trouble actually getting new people. Now we don't have the money to actually get any more equipment. Um, I think we still got far like hunters on the right side of the map. But really, I, was I would have gotten very lucky there if the trader actually gave us some more hoes. But I'm feeling like we're probably at the end now. Which is a shame, really. The same thing happened on the live stream. We got to this stagnation point where we just got extremely unlucky with where our, uh, a where the AI was taking us. There's going to be nothing over here. 
Oh, wait, maybe they've got money on them. Anything? No? Okay. Ugh. Hmm. We just slowly wither at this point. We might be able to bring it back, but we need some money. We have no forms of income anymore. Like, literally none. I mean, these hunters would probably help out if they could actually kill these rabbits, but they're not going to do that. We could lure deer. Speaking of... Uh, hold on a second. Merv's annoying me. Merv! What are you doing? He's doing more annoying chewing noises. They really frustrate me, right? Eat the grass. Mm. <sighs> okay. Let's keep moving. Right. So you guys don't have much to do. We're going to get one coin from this. Um... We literally have to wait five days. I mean, yeah, I shouldn't have hired everyone. But I wasn't expecting the trader to get a bunch of hammers. That's the thing. Anything over here? At least we've got our knights back. We don't have any chests in this direction. Bollocks. Um... Hmm... If the trader gave us a bunch of arrows, then we'll be... If he gave us anything other than hammers, we'd be fine. I was relying on the fact of him giving us anything but hammers at that point. Uh, what do we do? It'd be great if this game had a bank. <laughs> would probably help with this whole stagnation thing. Maybe. Oh my god, eat grass, mate. Uh, we have enough money for a hunter. Let's at least get one of them. Maybe they won't turn into a soldier. Fuck. Well, they did. Um, the only thing I can think of is going past the portal on one of the days. But we'll probably die, to be honest. The enemies don't drop money, so we can't really get anything from them. Maybe you've got money? Okay, looks like we're moving upwards, moving ahead. Maybe you're, you've got something on you? No, you're just repairing these walls. Oh, crap. Okay, once again... Our engineers way far ahead at night time when we get attacked. Those two are probably going to die as well. And those two. Great! Okay, then. We have no source of income. We need to go to the left side of the map and see if we can lure deer. I think that's the only thing we can really do at this point. Maybe our archers will help out. See this grass right here. It looks like the grass does die off. We might be able to get ourselves back into a good spot. The only thing I can really think of is is basically we need to get money for the trader and hope, just hope that he gives us hose or more arrow. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Well, that's that dead. <laughs> no, I think we're dead, to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not just sure if we can really continue onwards from this point. I've had many games where this happens. Like, you just get unlucky, the AI fucks you over a little bit, and you just fail from this point on. It's a little bit of a shame. I don't know where I can really go from here. But it seems to be just a downward spiral. We can't get any money, because all of our farmers are dead. And... We can't really repair or expand, because every time we do, for some reason the AI of the engineers go out at night time. Little bit annoying, but that's what they do. We can't time it, because the engineers are always in the wrong place at the wrong time. Just too big at this point. That's pretty much it. I feel like there's sort of like a prerequisite time for when you should just not bother expanding anymore. I think that's probably what's happened here. We have, we've exp I, w I don't want to say expanded too far, because that's what the game's about. It's just about expanding. 
I'm going to try and lure some deer, though. Maybe there's some on the right side. We've lost a bunch of people on this side as well. So we're getting attacked on both sides now. At least these engineers survived. But it looks like most of them didn't. There's some coins right there. That's interesting. So two coins. If we can find any more, then we'll have a chance. I really shouldn't have bought that bow, actually, but there you go. I was hoping they wouldn't become a soldier. So there's our trader. At this point, I'm just slowly running ahead. Because I want to see if this portal is closed or not. If it is closed, then we might be all right. Bollocks. Well, it's not. And the, all the deer are hanging around there as well, which is kind of annoying. Hmm. Don't worry, trader. I'm going to see you in a second. You're the only way. In, you're the only person that's going to save us at this point. Unless, of course, I die right now. Which is definitely a possibility. All right, so they're going to go cut down those trees. That's going to give us some money, actually. Come on. Come on, trader. You're my only hope. Bollocks, doesn't matter. Got attacked again at the wrong time. Um, yeah, I feel like the best strategy for this is to not bother destroying the portals. Because <laughs> destroying that portal has screwed us hard. I didn't realize that we get attacked constantly from that point on. Previously, we didn't really get attacked. Maybe it's because of the time of day we're in. But it really did screw us horribly. Like, we tried to rebuild ourselves. Um, I think the way I was doing it was wrong anyway. I should have done it sort of one wall at a time, just so the engineers didn't overexert themselves. And we'll get one gold from this. I don't think it's over yet. We should get an extra gold from next day and then get our trader. He's probably going to give us hammers, though. <laughs> it's not completely over. We've got a chance. Our crown's not off our greasy head yet. But I've, I do believe the Queen of Creep Town has probably seen her last bunch of creeps. The left side did get attacked a moment ago as well. Although our knights are still alive, which is good to see. So I'm just waiting for this single coin. I'm still thinking of what we could have done differently. Because I still think attacking that portal is what screwed us there. I think maybe getting too close to it initially as well wasn't great. Because it meant we kept losing people. Um, too many towers as well. Too many big towers was sort of taking up space with our archers. I do think that's a very big problem. That's something you need to worry about. Because it means you got a bunch of wasted archers really on the front lines. Anything else? Expanding maybe way too quickly. I still don't think that's really the problem. To be honest with you. Because the game's about expanding. I can't see a point where it's like, you shouldn't expand at this point on... Because that's, you know, that's just going to screw you. Even though the game says, I mean, it's all part of the game. But still, to be honest with you, I just thought maybe we'll get another upgrade to our castle. <laughs> that's all I want. I just want to see more aesthetical upgrades, more art. Maybe, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I've not seen anyone have anything higher than this, which is a shame, to be honest. So, yeah, I think what we could have done better is not bother destroying a portal. It's a waste of time. Secondly, we'll probably act a little bit slower when it comes to our expansion. Make sure to work one wall at a time as well when it comes to our repair work. Don't just sort of tell them to chop down trees and do repair work because you're assuming that the AI is going to do that for you. Um, I think a lot of it was based on assumptions of what I was expecting the AI to accomplish. I definitely wasn't expecting the engineers to run out in the night. One sec. Sorry about that. Apparently I'm very popular today. Who would have thought, right? Okay, anyway, we're going to keep going onwards. We still have a chance. I'm not saying it's over yet. I mean, we could still get a bunch of extra farming equipment and then maybe get lots of money from that in order to hire more people and start flourishing again. We've got four gold left and we might get killed on our way to the farmer. It's definitely what could happen. We have a bunch of soldiers over here, which I'm feeling confident about. No money, though. We have more people as well screwing around. We're not going to bother purchasing them. I know I really want to, but we're not going to do it. I'm going to move up very slowly, get this trader, and then make our way back to base. All right, there we go. Now we're just going to run back. Now he needs to give us 
Uh, farming equipment first or archers. If he gives us hammers, then I'm probably just going to call GG right there and run into the portal. <laughs> so, because there's, there's no way we're coming back from that. Um, eventually, we'll just get overrun. Our blood moon is coming up. Hopefully, it's going to attack us on our right side because I think our left side's very weak right now. It did just get attacked, although we still have our knights. I'm not sure how powerful it is right now. We do have, I believe, a few engineers hanging about. Although, that I think they probably got killed trying to bash down those trees. So, maybe that's not the case anymore. Look at these farms. So barren. <laughs> Sad to see, really. So, how long do you think this farm is going to take to... Or not farm, but this trade is going to take to get here. I mean, how many people do we have hanging around in our base? A few. Like, four people right now. Hopefully, they don't sort of eventually get bored. I'm going to look on my left side. There's no one on that... Excuse me. There's no one on that tower, which is a bit disappointing. Okay. Yeah, the left side of the map's a bit fucked, isn't it? <laughs> okay. That's not great. Tell you what, if those farmers... If we do get farming equipment, but then the farmers go on the left side where it's not protected, then that's going to probably screw me hard. It's not looking good. Like I said, we are starting to dwindle a bit. So I'm just going to chill out, take a drink, mm. and hope for the best, really. We won't be having another series after this, though. I've got too much going on right now. So, <laughs> so there we are. It's definitely live stream worthy, though. I thought I just fell into a hole there. We'll eat this grass, because I guess it will help out. There's a rabbit right there as well to be culled. I would like it if we did that. I don't really want to stay out of our walls. <laughs> Just want to wait for our trader and see if it's the end or not. Of course, we could get wrecked. I mean, the next Blood Moon's probably going to defeat us. I'd rather go out in a blaze of glory. It's early morning for those wondering as well. I probably sound a little bit tired. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Now I do. Now that I've said it, I'm like, oh, I'm so tired right now. <laughs> so what day are we on now? 55, something like that. It's not too bad. It's not day 80. The thing is, though, I think we probably... Actually, no, we couldn't have done day 80. Because we did get wrecked on the left side. That was very strong. Especially with the double walls. I think at that point... I'm not sure what the strategy is at that point, to be honest. I mean, the right side's screwed. <laughs> it is just screwed. I, can't, I don't know what to do with that. Other than just very slowly just sort of upgrade and only go out and repair new walls at night time. Like just before, maybe midway. The problem with doing that though is I can't really go out because we're probably going to end up getting attacked. Or I might lose my crown. I don't want to lose my crown. Queen of Creep Town would be uh, just ridiculous if like, she lost her... Well, she wouldn't be a queen anymore. She would be just a, one of the lowly peasants turn into an archer though. Or a farmer. She might actually be useful then. Rather than just running around with a horse. Here's more people. I guess we got attacked on the right side the other day. Let's actually go and double check. Lots more people, actually. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. We lost our knights. Great. Okay, then. Very expensive. Here we go. Here's our trader. Oh, if you give me a hat. It looks like the... <laughs> it looks like the um, donkey has, like, headphones on his neck. It's fantastic. He's listening to some beats right now. I'm liking that. Very interesting. So if he gives us hammers, then we're screwed. I'm just going to say that right now. I think we've got a blood moon coming up anyway, so we're probably screwed now. But here we go. It's the moment of hope. I just realized my horse's neck goes in and out whenever I move forward. It's kind of trippy. And then also we've got to hope that our farmers go in the right place if we get them. Okay, we didn't get any... Farming equipment. Kind of annoying. Here we go. And... Oh, you are taking the piss. <laughs> oh, my God. That's just a fucking joke. Well, we can see all the lovely engineers we're going to get. Here's a single coin. You motherfucker. Here's a tip. Yay! Oh, I'll tell you what. We actually got an extra hammer right there. That's good to know. So if a hammer gets taken while he's dropping off, like, he just keeps filling it up until it's completely uh, loaded. So if one gets picked up while he's giving you stuff, then it'll give you an extra hammer. That's good to know. I think that's the same with everything. But yeah, we got a bunch of engineers. 
Is it the blood moon? Just finish me off, game. <laughs> Just finish it. I think it is a blood moon. Yep, here we go. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, boy. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to lose my crown. <laughs> There's the traitor, you bastard. You did this to us. It was going to happen eventually, though, ladies and gentlemen. Do they destroy the keep or they just walk past it? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I think they go past these walls. Yep, okay. I'm going to keep running. Actually, I'd rather just get killed in our keep. Ah! I can actually pick that back up. Nice. Sweet! <laughs> Still mine, mother truckers! Keeps going backwards. Pick it up again, mother truckers. Screw it, I'm running. I'm getting out of here. Eat some grass. <laughs> Very quickly. <laughs> quickly, eat the grass! <laughs> okay, here we go. We have to go for a few walls in order for them to actually get to us. There we go. We made it to day 56 or something now. Hey, look, we got knights. They didn't die. I thought they did. Let's just walk now. Let's see if the portal's closed. I want to see what's on the other side, if we die or not. I mean, we can only take one more hit anyway. But there we go. A sad end to things. The game is f rather difficult. I feel like it has a very strict build order and way of doing things that I've not quite mastered yet. Maybe getting farmers was something that I was neglecting. I think it was, because I was focusing a lot more on the other side. We can actually get fast this. This is great. We've definitely lost. Ooh. Oh, there's an end. Okay, then. So what happens when you get to this bit? Oh, that's interesting. So I guess every world has about two portals in it. So if we destroy both portals, we stop getting attacked. Damn, we got close, didn't we? I guess we got close. We destroyed one of two portals. So really, we didn't get close. But we were get definitely getting there. Oh, stop. No! Forgot about you guys! Oh, wait. You're not going to attack me because it's daytime. <laughs> we made it! <laughs> we did it, guys! <laughs> right, eat your food. Okay. Right. You've ate your food. Let's see what how our base is doing. So we got our catapult. That's good news. We got our knights. They're just sort of chilling out. Our traders here. We're not actually going to get attacked tonight. Something to think about. We could make our way back from this. <laughs> yeah, right. Could we? We need money for that. We don't really have any money now. Um. Let's see. Single beautiful coin. <laughs> and this side's completely wrecked. Look at this. This is a mess. I'm going to go look on the other side of the map and just get owned. And that should be fantastic. Queen of Crete Town, though, ladies and gentlemen. She's, she did a pretty good job. Day 56. I would say it's too bad. A little bit of a shame it went the way it did. I think destroying that portal, though, or at least focusing on destroying portals, was definitely our downfall. I didn't realize that you just get attacked constantly by destroying one portal. I have to make sure to work around that. The game is definitely about knowing what's going to happen uh, after you've sort of done something. You, your actions have consequences, that kind of thing. I didn't know what the consequence was for destroying one of the portals, and apparently it's just constant attacks, which makes it very difficult to actually expand. Here we go. The one Jimmy. There we are. My crown! Ah! Screw you, motherfucker! <laughs> right, here we go. Take the money. We did it! <laughs> we passed the portal. Here's a statue. We didn't get any statues as well, which I think would have definitely helped out. But there's one. And uh, there's our crown. There we go. I wish one of those guys picked it up. That'd be fantastic. But there we are, ladies and gentlemen. You've been watching me, the Inca, would play Kingdom Creeptown. Apparently, we're no longer queen. <laughs> Sad days. Look at her greasy hair. She can actually move it now. It's fantastic. I won't be playing any more of this after this Let's Play, though, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to keep a nice, small Let's Play. I wanted to get as far as I actually could. I might do some more live streamers on this later on, though. Maybe try and make it to day 80. I'm not really too sure. Until then, though, ladies and gentlemen, if you know of any other games that you think I should play, feel free to let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed yourself, then feel free to like, share, and subscribe.
follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Well, follow me on Twitter for updates. Excuse me. Updates on my channel and Twitch for live streams. I've been the Incubate. You've all been fantastic. And I'll see you all next time. Damn it, creep down! Bloody creeps. I'll be queen again. Thank you.